All right. Y'all ready to get into some things? Are y'all ready to get into some things? Because, baby, it is carrying. It is carrying. It's carrying, baby. All right. So, listen, we're going to run it. We got to get into the T. Okay. Um, now, we're going to get into it. Y'all can't hear me? Put a one in the chat if you can hear me. Can y'all hear me? Oh, okay, I just want to make sure y'all can hear me. Y'all know what's going on. Um, first of all, I just need to say, um, y'all need to really stop playing with me and put some respect on my name, okay? And what I need to say is, it's getting messy. Like the girls are really, 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 really beefing this time around. And, you know, I think that, you know, I could, I put that on Nikki because I feel like these girls are not afraid to put it on the floor now, especially since his and Bigfoot. What I'm also predicting is, well, it's actually not even a prediction. It's a thing that's just happening. The line is being drawn in the sand now. Girls are picking a side. It's unfortunate that this is now happening because it's harder for other female rappers that are trying to come up and do their thing because it's going to be this side or that side. It's going to be the Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, uh, Lotto, Glorilla side versus the Nicki Minaj, Bia, uh, 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 JT, and her crew. Over here, and, and and then you have like the sexy reds, and you know the flow millies, and the other girls trying to you know figure out where they land. Oh, I guess Ice Spice is a hybrid. You don't know where Ice Spice lands because she's over here and then she's over there. But we'll say Ice Spice is on the Nikki side because she got the collab, and her and Cardi B just got into it. But everybody's feeling spicy right now. And I just want to put this out there for everybody to know that y'all can't blame the fans for this. This is not bloggers. This is not the media. This is not fans. This is, this is, this ain't no female unity. Bloggers are not making these girls go at each other. That is not what this is. Okay. That's not what this is. These girls do not like each other. None of them. We're going to get into the whole breakdown of everything. But if you ask me, I'm about to tell you what I, what I feel. Okay. I'm about to break it down. Okay. Cardi B and Glorilla like each other. Meg Thee Stallion doesn't care about anybody. Meg Thee Stallion could care less for Cardi B. Meg Thee Stallion, she'll work with Glorilla, don't really care for her. Meg Thee Stallion don't really care for Young Miami. They'll work together here and there. But Young Miami's trying to find her footing because Young Miami and JT don't like each other. JT and Nicki Minaj like each other. Nicki Minaj seen where Khloe really was going would never even speak or look in her direction. Cardi B, I don't, Cardi B don't like, uh, don't really care for Meg Thee Stallion like that. She'll play dumb, but she don't really care for her. Doja Cat don't like none of these hoes. Okay. Let's just call it a thing a thing. B and Cardi B don't like each other. JT and Cardi B don't like each other. Sweetie don't like Glorilla. She feels slighted. Nikki don't like Sweetie like that. Or well, we don't know. We don't know what that's given. Because they saying that Sweetie might be on a remix or they might have a collab. But Nikki needed to wait and star her out and see how she felt about Sweetie. I just don't know if she feel like Sweetie is relevant enough for her to collaborate with. Um, but for a while, she wasn't stepping over there. So we'll have to see where that goes. Um, so I don't really want to call that one. Um, Sexy Red is, is in the middle, but Sexy Red is an anomaly because here's the thing. Sexy Red is so hot right now. She has the pick of the litter. See, Sexy Red can work with anybody because actually everybody needs Sexy Red. Sexy Red doesn't need them. 
See, Sexy Red is an anomaly because she did the female rap stuff, but the men like Sexy Red. She's garnered an audience with men. They respect her. They fool with her. So Sexy Red can say I like Cardi, but then she'll have Nikki trying to get her. If Cardi, if Sexy Red send Cardi be a verse, Cardi going to get on it because they need Sexy Red more than Sexy Red needs them. That is a fact. Um, who else? Lotto. Lotto's trying to team up with Cardi B. <sighs> I'll tell you this. Cardi B don't care about none of them. Cardi B, uh, Cardi B don't care for none of them. Cardi B will work with them, but Cardi B could care less about none of them. Lotto is trying to find her fan club, her crew, her girls. She'll be over there. Um, but I'm saying all this to say, none of these girls really like each other. It's only a few select people. Nicki Minaj don't like Saucy Santana. Nicki, Nicki Minaj don't like Young Miami. JT and Young Miami, I don't. they don't really like each other like that either. Um, but interesting enough, everybody has slightly worked together at some point, some way or another. Okay. Now, which brings me to, well, even Meg Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj, all these girls, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, motorsport, everybody has intermingled in one way or another. Okay. Now, which brings us to. JT and Glorilla with a with a hint of sweetie. Okay. Now here's the T. Remember back last year, I told you girls that apparently Glorilla threw a purse or a drink at JT at the VMAs. I waited because I know what the girls do online. I waited to like September. I don't remember. It was like I waited months after the VMAs had aired. It was like a couple months after to kind of get into the tea because I knew if I, first of all, if I spoke on it too soon, they were going to know my sources. And then two, I wanted to see who was going to break the story. Once I put it out, then everybody started acting like they had heard some tea. They had heard some tea. But you guys didn't believe me because there was no video. It all went viral. JT was messaging me like, oh, I don't really talk to you. This didn't happen. Nobody slapped me. We was all in the spaces. She was making it seem like I was being messy. Blase, blase, blah. Glorilla never said nothing. Then the Yeah Glow record come out. You know, slapping rap. She's in it. You know, Yeah Glow. So, Boom. Fast forward to today, Glorilla has a record on her new EP, and she mentions Cardi B and Nicki Minaj saying, you know, she wishes that they would work together. Um, Bad bitch, you need to link up. It needs to be a thing. You know, they could make magic together on a record. She then said that she don't fool with JT. Her and JT are not friends. They not besties, but it ain't no beef. Bloggers was like, oh, okay. JT responds, you know, to Glorilla, basically saying, you know, you didn't slap me. Nothing happened. Ain't no beef. Why she's mentioning me. Glorilla's like, no free promo. Then JT starts carrying on calling her all kind of ugly. Okay. So let me get into some of these tweets. So you girls can kind of get the tea and see where we at with everything. Just so you familiarize with yourself what happened. Let me go. Where did I go first? Because um, so this is where it started. Okay. Um, JT responds to comment about the rumor. Her and Glorilla got into a fight. Uh, she never slapped me. She somebody said, I've been said she didn't. She the one that went radio silent, played into uh Played into it, released a song about slapping rap, and now it's female rap unity. That's corny. Um, 
because JT was basically saying she never slapped me ever, ever, ever. Like y'all find somebody else to play with. You know, she never slapped me. Okay. So basically she's basically letting it be known that she never slapped her. She said, I guess she was waiting on her tape to address and gonna clear up the viral slapping someone when the whole hood believed it. It was one brand. No, if I wasn't, I don't know these girls like that. I have problems with them. I always wish them the best first. Okay. So this is what, this is what JT is kind of like saying in response to the whole Glorilla mess. Right. So Glorilla writes, no free pump, no free promo. JT goes, B, you said my name, Air Mattress Brain. Ugly, shouldn't you leave your mouth over, e ugly shouldn't leave your mouth ever. Joe, you look like you was born feet first. See, uh, uh, don't mention me, secret animosity, why? Um, Because Glorilla said, oh, shut up, you dumb, uh, uh, effing ugly wigs. I said, it ain't no beef and you the hope with the secret animosity. Okay. So they going back and for up oh, there's me. This is where she's saying Glorilla has been picking on her. Um, so they just going back and forth. Don't make me pop up at one of them backyard barbecue shows. You doing you feeling uh a way about slapping rap she's and making bail ho guess that last run and had you thinking you the only I touched. JT says, I guess she was waiting on her tape to address who gonna clear it up. All right. I mentioned your name to clear the air. What you wanted me to say. I didn't slap you, but I hit you with a purse instead. Scary. Oh, okay. Now you remember. So she says she hit her with a purse. Now here's me. Remember this video. Let's get into it. So apparently at the VMAs, JT and Glorilla were backstage. And JT, or no, Glorilla wanted to speak to or tried to speak to JT and JT snubbed her off like in a very nasty catty way, like rolled her eyes at her and ignored her. And Glorilla went in to try to speak and kind of give her a hug. And JT kind of gave like, bitch, you know, like very one of them, you know, and Glorilla wasn't feeling that. So apparently now these are the two, this is where the telephone game gets played. Apparently from one person, they're saying like, you know, Glorilla threw a drink at JT. Another person says she threw a purse. And it hit JT. Um,
Got it. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. I got it. I got it. I got it. Sorry, I had it on mute. Let me start over. Oh, God. Let me start over. So, hold on. Let me start over. Oh, I hope, I don't know where you guys, where we, where we hurt, where we got lost from. So, basically, that is what I had said. Y'all heard what I had said in that video. Um, Y'all had got the tea when I told you guys five months ago that, you know, pretty much, Girl, they were beefing. I told you, I gave you guys that tea. Y'all didn't believe it. Okay, so boom. So then we see here where Glorilla says, you know, pretty much I hit you with a purse. And I told you that's what I had heard. She hit her with a purse. JT then goes and says, you know, pending as if it's going to be her next situation going to, you know, going to jail um, because she was going to slap Glorilla. Okay, now, here we go. Hold on, let me see. Okay, my mic shouldn't be off no more. I'm starting over. And now, here we go. Moving on to, up to Sweetie. So, Sweetie likes this post. Now, if you guys don't remember, Sweetie feels a way because if you remember, Sweetie was the one who was on the F and F remix first. Hold on, let me do it like this so y'all can see me. So y'all could like really kind of get it in English. So it's no T. Okay. There. So Sweetie. Sweetie was on the FNF remix first, but Sweetie had spent her money to get on the remix. Sweetie had spent her money. This is before Glorilla was famous. Glorilla, uh, you know, she still had the teeth and, you know, she didn't have the money. Sweetie thought she was going to be the girl to get on the record. She flew, she flew the girls down here, paid for the video, paid for everything. But the problem is Sweetie assumed the position. They did not confirmed there was no thing like okay i want you to now if you let sweetie tell it sweetie will say you know they said she's going to be on the remix they had this whole plan but other people are saying that that was not the plan like we didn't sweetie wanted this we didn't want this and so they decided to go a different direction and that's when they used jt and lotto because they were the bigger stars um, and they thought that would be a bigger moment. So the Sweetie video never came out. Sweetie had jumped the gun because she wanted that moment because FNF was a hot song. So they paid Sweetie. Dust. They did not want to deal with her. They didn't want that when they went a different direction. Sweetie is now showing her hand because she feels some type of way because she has been slighted by Glorilla and her team. So that is why Sweetie went and inserted herself into the conversation and liked this shady post about JT. I mean, about Glorilla. Okay. There's that. So that's why Sweetie is in the mix because Sweetie is pissed because she feels snubbed from when she had spent all her money. And the video and the record and the remix didn't get cleared nor came out. Okay. Um, so boom. There's that. Now the girls are still going back and forth. You know, JT is telling her come to the barbecues. Uh, JT says, I honestly thought Glow was a real, but man, she got uh, she not she caused all that sh with F and F remix too. Came in the game messy and phony, ready to switch on your homies. Had to jump back on the roof. Um, so they're just going back and forth, going back and forth, going back and forth. Mm, mm, mm. They're doing a lot of cursing. Just it's a lot going on with this situation. She's talking about their hair. Um, she said. 
JT just wrote, you are ugly with no appeal. Got dragged for trying to be seductive at the awards, crying to your label because you was tired of um, crump dancing. You are a Glock toting pit bull that need to stay in her G phasos. You are not a Cinderella. Hell, you're not even a stepsister, B. Okay. So this goes to show you that there definitely was a beef. JT says, they coming to see JT and them two songs shaking the walls in the club. I'm coming for y'all, though. Pay your rent up because when I'm, it's my turn. I'm not leaving a crime. And I bet not catch y'all trying to do club tours since it's so beneath y'all. I swear this has been the most fun I had in my career a while. Y'all jealous because I do my own thing. Glorilla saying, your comebacks is weak, boo. It's okay. I won. Um, so uh, it's given a lot. The girls are turned up. Now, here's my thing. Let's get into it. What do I think is going on and where do I think uh, why this happened? Let's talk about it because... Child, we don't know. But I'll say this. I personally feel as though <clears throat> this either happened because two things. Either Glorilla did that tomorrow too with Cardi B and Cardi B was on there dissing JT. JT may have felt away. Or from what I saw with my own eyes, remember Jughead tried to lie about it, Young Miami. We were at the Beyonce concert. JT, Young Miami, were booked through Boohoo at the bo at the concert. We were all in that box. Young Miami felt a way because I was there. She doesn't like me. She saw me. And she felt like we were beneath her. So she wanted, mind you, we were so beneath her. This is what gets me though. We were so beneath her, but baby, she had to, they had tickets for like 15 other people. Okay, and she didn't have her own tickets to get there. So, but so we went there, and she didn't get paid either. So she comes, and she paid for her own flight to get there. So let's be very clear on that. So, um. You rich, like, let's be very, like, girl, stop the cap. And Diddy and his baby mamas and kids walk, not Diddy was there, but the, the women and the kids walk past you and paid it. Girl, because I was there. But anyway, that has nothing to do with it. So there was a section next to us, but it was Glorilla's was Yo Gotti section and Glorilla section. I don't know if this is what it was, but I re I <laughs> venom vehemently, I vehemently, I don't know how you say that word, but I precisely remember Young Miami, JT trying to, you know, be a separate from the box that we were all in to go into the other one. It was empty at the time. However, it had became Yo Gotti's box. Sizzle was in that box. Glorilla was in that box. Angela Simmons was in that box. Yo Gotti was in that box. A slew of other people were in that box. Also, Young Miami, JT, and their 15 people were trying to be in that box as well. They got put out of the box. The security was like, girl, get the, y'all got to move around. Get up out of here. Bye. 
they was upset. Like, man, leave me alone. You don't got to touch me. Move out the way. So they made their people come back into our section. They then made other people. They then found their way up to like Jay-Z's uh, Skybox thing. But they were mad that they got put out of Yo Gotti Glorilla's section. They definitely got put out. And this was, what, maybe a week before the VMAs? So, then the next week, the drama happens. Now, I don't know if that's true, but I just, to me, if I'm JT and I try to be in the section and Glow, really, you come try to speak to me and I, you put me out the section at the Beyonce concert, girl, don't talk to me because your team was weird. So perhaps that is what happened. Um, somebody said put off the such but ended up in the sky. Well, they went and begged and begged because they weren't even supposed to be in there either. So that was they they went and begged to get up there. But um JT was actually the cool one though. She would have stayed in the section where we was at. She was trying to find a seat, this, that, and the third. It was Cresha acting as if it was beneath her. It wasn't for her. It was that, that. No, JT was the more professional one. Even though she was late, young Miami, big face self, she was the one acting, you know, very grand and fab, but was the one begging for the tickets. JT just came. Young Miami was the one begging for the tickets. Let's be very clear on that. Like I said, that interaction, I actually like JT because she actually was very humble. She's beautiful in person. She's sweet. And unfortunately, I mean, not unfortunately, but fortunately, I've seen all these girls. So JT is far from ugly. Glorilla is not ugly. Megan Thee Stallion is not ugly. Megan Thee Stallion is tall. Glorilla is short. Cardi B is not ugly. I Spice looks like I Spice. She's not ugly, but she's not just, just, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I've seen Bia. She's okay in the face. Um, who else? Lotto. She's, uh, Lotto's not ugly. I've seen Lotto. Lotto's like, I seen actually Lotto. She was checking another blogger at Cardi B's party. Oh, that was a key. Um, so I've seen her in person too. So I've seen a lot of these girls in person and how these girls interact. Um, Glorilla is really chill, cool. She stands up to the side. Um, I've seen her a couple times. Cardi B's birthday party and I've seen her in Vegas. Um, she was chill. Um, but I, again, Young Miami, big faced. Filtered down, big, big circle water face. Mm -hmm. But that's neither here nor there. Um. Now, in regards to this beef, who won? I don't know. I don't really think that there was a winner in the Twitter. You know, I think they went back and forth and they just confirmed that, you know, they were really actually beefing. The thing is, though, excuse me, JT, something did happen for you to turn up this way. So if I had to choose a winner, I'm going and I'm choosing Glorilla because JT, you're trying to prove that she didn't slap you, which is fine. But we know that something happened. And JT, instead of saying we had an altercation, you're trying to make it seem like Glorilla didn't press you in any kind of way. And the truth is, she did press you. Glorilla did press you with something. Whether it was a purse, a drink, or a hand, she pressed you. And what did you do?
And it feels like it's no shade. You didn't do anything. I don't know why she would have to lie about throwing a shoe or throwing a purse or swinging a purse because I feel like if it wasn't true, she wouldn't have turned up like she is. Okay? They're saying it's going down in real time. Let's get it in real time. Real time. Let's get the tea in real time. I have a little time today, so we're going to get it in real time time um they saying sweetie is tweeting now let me see what sweetie is saying uh let me say what is sweetie saying i did she block oh um my notifications is blowing up what did i do who am i fighting Okay, so Sweetie is acting oblivious to the fact that she liked it, the shady post. Who am I fighting? What did I do? Okay. Hopefully I'm not blocked. Okay, no, yeah. And the people in the comments saying, do you stand in when You got 10 seconds. Um... But sweetie, let's go to sweetie's likes. Girl, I'll tell you who you're fighting right now. Girl, you are fighting Glorilla. Because you are in JT's likes, liking messy mugshot pictures, pending that she is going to whack Glorilla next. So you are fighting Glorilla. That is who you are fighting right now. Let's see what JT is saying. Um, jealous, but was in my DM crying for the remix, y'all. They forget fast. Okay, so boom. So let's move on a little bit, and we will update you guys on that in a second. <clears throat> I wanted to switch gears a bit. Um, let me see if I can grab something. Hold on. And I really want to touch, and I'm going to touch on this at the end um, as an overall wrap up, but I want to talk about this for a second. Um, let me get into it. Let me get into it. Boom. So Glorilla statement that, um, Glorilla statement that, um, Nicki Minaj and Cardi B could do magic together on a record. I feel like that can be true. I feel like that could be true. They could do magic together. But these two women, Nicki Minaj doesn't respect Cardi B as an artist. And Cardi B, she's not as humble as she portrays. So they both want the same spot. So there is no, like Cardi B will throw the rock and hard, hide her hand. And Nicki Minaj doesn't like anybody that wants her spot. You get what I'm saying? Now, I'd rather a rap battle more than them on the record because them on the record together, Nicki Minaj will watch Cardi B on a record. Megan Thee Stallion watches Cardi B on the record. The only thing that we would get is a good visual, but them on the record has no chemistry because there's no real... Nicki, like her on a record, like I just... We've, we've got motorsport... Actually, that little five seconds that Cardi B did on Motorsport really wasn't that bad, though. So it'd be interesting to see what she does now because I do feel like she would probably bring her A game at, at this stage, performance, looks-wise. So it could it could actually, honestly, now that I think about it, it actually might be good because I think Cardi B would step it up a little bit more like she did on Motorsport. 
So it probably wouldn't be that bad. However, I want to see that. I want to see Cardi B get in the ring and really throw her shots. Cause yeah, she throws the shoe. Yeah, she, you know, these, you know, oh, new bitch, you know, she, these girls can't dress, but I want Cardi B, you know, as gangster as she is, go at her like you would go at Bia. Go at her like you would go at JT. Really go at Nicki Minaj and not on social media. Not at an event. Be directing your messaging like she is. After all of that surgery, you're still ugly. That is what gets me. All those botch face photos. Why would you post those? You know what I mean? That's what I'm looking for from Cardi B. You know what I mean? I, I still have yet to see Cardi B fully whack Nicki Minaj directly on a record. But she'll whack anybody else. She'll whack I Spice. But she does not really want to get in that rap ring with Nicki Minaj. This is why I respect Megan Thee Stallion. Some people said that that wasn't direct. Well, when she told Megan Thee Stallion, Megan Thee Stallion had 24 hours to respond or apologize to her dead mother or things are going to get uglier than Ken Barbie. That was a direct whack at, Nikki, at Cardi B. She wasn't talking to Ken Barbie. She was talking to Cardi B. She feel like they both ugly. And she knows that, you know, when you're talking to Ken Barbie, you're talking to Cardi B. So she, that's who she's talking to. That was a direct whack. Okay. I want Cardi B to whack her back. Um, I want her to get in that ring and I want her to make it her. So I want to see another battle. Cardi B is basically saying, I'm not going to battle her no more. We can just fight. I don't want to fight. You know, Nikki's not going to fight, fight, fight on the pen and paper. Are you pushing your pen? Or are you pushing your luck? It's a big difference between me and you. Okay. That's just what I I want to know how you feel. Now, I do say I like that Cardi B is in a pocket of finding her place. I feel like Cardi B is in a confident place when it comes to her look and fashion. So she's doing a lot more talking in that genre because she's finally felt like, okay, this is where I excel. This is where I'm stronger than her at. So I can confidently say I'm better than you here. Unfortunately, Cardi B has relied on looks and fashion for the last seven years without dropping a second project that we don't even care about the looks and fashion anymore because there's not enough music for us to give a darn. Does that make sense? If there was consecutive music, I think we would care more about the looks and fashion. But if you look and fashion us all the way out for the uh, for almost a decade. At some point, I don't care if you were wearing Jesus's halo. Where is the record? Where's the music? You know what I mean? Nicki Minaj, while I love Nicki, the great thing about Nicki Minaj is that she's talented as a rapper. She didn't have that. My God. Y'all know I love Nicki, but I don't have to ever see Nicki Minaj live. Nicki Minaj over promises and under delivers and lies a lot. It's no shade. We're always going to be headed to gag city. We're going to gag, 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 gag. And when you get it, it's like, girl, what is this? They need to switch places. They don't need to work together. They need to switch places. I ain't talking Spanish when I say senorita. What'd she say? I told her man's, I told her girl's right a yo, senorita. <laughs> oh. I told the ghost right a yo, senorita. 
That's what I'm talking about. I need that kind of whacking. You see, here's the thing. You can be on a minute of, uh, you can be in the middle of a tangent. I'm just going to, let me go ahead and preach for a second. You can be in the middle of a tangent and then like a Nicki Minaj bar just drops into your spirit like a Bible verse. I ain't talking Spanish when I say senorita. Told a bitch goes right yo, senorita! Like, what? That's the kind of lashing that I need back and forth. That's everything. Um, I love that. 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 Um, um, so now what else? Going back to that, Nikki, they need to swap. Cardi B needs to fall in love with music and not just do it because she knows that she has to make good music and put up good numbers because she's contractually obligated to. And, and because, you know, that's what helps her, you know, leverage brand deals and finances, but because she loves it and she's an artist at heart, if that's what she is. Nicki Minaj needs to swap with her and become less 2015 rich auntie vibes and give more fashion forward bad. Okay. Nicki Minaj dresses like rich auntie, which is fine, but I just, I need a little bit more forward in this, a little bit more creativity. We need visuals. I think Nicki Minaj holds that stuff back because she knows that's not her strong suit and she's a bit lazy. In the creative department. And she likes to say, I don't need to rely on these things to be successful, which is fine. But, you know, girl, you've been in the game for a long time. At some point, your fans do want to get a little icing on top of the cake. Mm. So there's that. Them working together? No. But. Honestly, Nicki Minaj versus Cardi B, it's not really as interesting of a thing anymore because Cardi B won't step into the ring. So this doesn't even need to be a pairing anymore because Cardi B continuously says she doesn't want those problems. And even when she gets, even when Nicki Minaj is whacking her and her girlfriend, Cardi B bows out. Now, had that been JT sending a whack, Cardi B would have been on Twitter Going, hey, had that been I Spice sending a lashing, had that been Bia sending a whack through, Cardi B would be off of hiatus and dragging it. But for whatever reason, she won't get out here and smack Nikki. Until she does that, I don't need them to work together. Whack her. Okay. Um. Now. Let's move on to another duo. That's interesting. Now, Glorilla's record featuring Megan Thee Stallion, Wanna Be, came out. Um, I liked it. I actually bopped to it. You know, I loved Glorilla on it. Um, on the record, she was cool. She looked great. I, I liked the collab. Uh, Megan Thee Stallion, uh, Megan Thee Stallion is everything. Megan Thee Stallion is the only female rapper right now that at this level... Um, that I feel I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nicki Minaj and win a few rounds. Yes, God. I do think that she can go round for round with Nicki and she will win a few rounds. Um, however, the only thing, I thought the video was cool. I just thought uh, Megan Thee Stallion's verse was way too short. Once it got into the sweet spot, we started getting like too many bars of the hook. It, the hook went too long. I was like, girl, did she run out of stuff to say? But Megan Thee Stallion, one thing about her is she's going to get on anybody's record, especially a female, and she's going to slide on their record. Megan Thee Stallion is going to slide on that record. And she did just that. Um, this is a relationship we didn't know that we needed. 
But it's very telling because, again, this becomes that side. Glorilla, you're over here with Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B. And, you know, Young Miami's in the comments over there. Meanwhile, you're over here beefing with JT. JT and Young Miami, they can't possibly be friends. JT and my Young Miami, that, 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 that era is over. Um, you can't be my best friend. You can't be my homegirl. Always laughing and keying on the side of a girl that don't like me. I, I never understood how that worked. You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't understand how you friends with, with girls that don't like me. So um, you're not my friend. But anyway, it's not about them. It's about uh, Megan Thee Stallion and Glorilla. I like this. A lot of people felt some type of way because they were feeling like, well, this is a snub to Cardi B. Uh, it's not really a snub to Cardi B, but I just feel like Megan Thee Stallion is in it for herself. And as she should be. Um, Megan Thee Stallion has no loyalty to anybody. I don't feel like her and Cardi B are friends. They put up a great front for, uh, in front of the cameras, but, you know, Megan Thee Stallion doesn't care for her. Cardi B don't, doesn't care for Megan Thee Stallion. However, you know, they make good business together. Um, Megan Thee Stallion got a number one record with Cardi B, got her first number one record. Cardi B, you know, records were flopping and flopping, you know, and Cardi B got desperate and saw, hey, let me use Megan Thee Stallion, you know, before, you know, before she can even use herself. So we'll throw on this Bongos record and we'll see if it works. Unfortunately, Bongos was mid, didn't work. Megan Thee Stallion shortly after started dropping her music of her own. Megan Thee Stallion then, you know, got the hits record, you know, off the heels of Beefy with Nicki Minaj, it went number one. Megan Thee Stallion is the number two female rapper in the game for me right now. It's, it goes Nicki for the rappers, and I'm not talking Doja Cat. We'll talk about Doja Cat in another video. But when, it, when we go top three, we're going to go Nicki Minaj, Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B. That is the order for me. Now, you guys can go argue that. If you want to, but I just personally feel like Megan Thee Stallion is a strong contender for number two because Megan Thee Stallion's work ethic is crazy. Megan Thee Stallion's performance is wild. Her visual presentation is sickening. Her rapping skills is impeccable, and she's an overall entertainer, and she's consistent. She has, what, three number one records, three Grammys. Megan Thee Stallion is going to be here for a while. And she will be here rapping longer than Cardi B. Cardi B will be an influencer in the fashion world some, somewhere. Mm -hmm. So. Now, uh, so those are my thoughts on that. Now, the true moment, like we talked about, is, you know, people are saying sexy right in the track. The true moment is Sexy Red right now, um, but I think that she still has a lot of work to do, but I love Sexy Red. Sexy Red is, you know, Sexy Red is a hot girl. I think Sexy Red is hotter than Ice Spice now, in at least in the hood. Remember, Ice Spice came out, and and even I thought Ice Spice was going to be a lot bigger than, you know, she was, like, musically-wise. But, you know, Ice Spice, I think she got cocky, and then Ice Spice got a little um, flip-floppy. In a way to where, you know, Ice Spice just kind of looked a little messy. So I don't really know where Ice Spice stands in the situation. But like we talked about in the last video, Ice Spice completely let Cardi B play in her face. And this is why I want to say this female rap unity is a bunch of BS. Because if we pull all these girls up together. And this is just a few. They all do this stuff and try to team up for the moment for the pictures and this, that, and third. And But none of these people truly, truly like each other. They all know each other. They've worked together at some point in another, but everybody is trying to get ahead. No one truly, truly, genuinely likes each other for the most part. A lot of this is ego. And a lot of these girls want to be the main girl. And it's nothing wrong with that. But people love to put out their 
female rap unity while talking crap about the next girl behind her back, including the girl that you work with. I can't tell you how many times these women, you know, I'm here and talking about each other behind their back. And these women have worked together before. I've heard all kinds of stories about these girls talking about each other. Even girls that have worked together, throwing shade, talking about the girls' bodies and looks and this and that. These girls have got records together, videos together. Those don't like each other. It's just convenient for social media. Um, and so for me, people need to keep it real and be honest that there is no female rap unity and stop trying to blame the fans. And then also when people are throwing shade and throwing subs, don't act like you're not doing it. Don't act like you're not doing it because you are. Now, JT and Glorilla, do I think they'll end up fighting? No, because if they was going to fight, they would have fought already. Because you see, if my thing is this, if JT was ready to turn up at the BET Awards on Uzi like that, if Glorilla is throwing a purse at you, you should have smacked her in. You know what I mean? So I just don't know. I don't really see it happening. Um, it's unfortunate because I didn't, I, I just... That's a beef that I don't really see necessary. What is the necessary beef? This feels like, and I'm not saying that this is what it is. This feels like Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, Minions. Then you have Megan Thee Stallion trying to build her Minions. So now she's trying to take Gloria. Like you see how Megan Thee Stallion is the key. She's my favorite key because... People don't see this, but in my opinion, Megan Thee Stallion always attaches herself to Cardi B in some way. Like, okay, this is this is your this is your energy source. I'm gonna plug in over here. Hey, friend, let me go ahead and plug in over here. He 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 he. And I'm gonna take your stuff. Then before you know it, she got Cardi B visuals, Cardi B producer. I mean, Cardi B, you know, creative director, Cardi B number one record. Cardi B cousin on tour. Cardi B collaborations. <laughs> Cardi B not stupid. Cardi G B, but Cardi B sit up there. We love each other. I love Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion is so great. And Megan Thee Stallion is the unity. And she's so cool. And she's so nice. And, <laughs> and I love Megan. So then, and then she go home and think this big, tall, lanky, tired of her. But because you act like you liked her so much. You got to sit up here and pretend like you didn't hear that she called you a dirty Mexican and try to blame it on the fans. It is what it is. This is what they do. This is what they do. Now, um, so I feel as though, you know, the Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B piece, I don't think that they're beefing, but I always point out the fact that I just think that Megan Thee Stallion always somehow, you know, is always on Cardi B's toes or on her heels or in her bubble really close in proximity. But this two, these two are given, I don't like you because the big girl don't like you. I'm team Cardi B, you team Nicki, and I don't like you because my girl don't like you. I don't know if that's true, but that's what it feels like. Uh, so, yes, that is the T. So, those are my thoughts on that. Let me read some of your comments in here. Um, some of you guys are saying, what are y'all saying in the comments below? Um, let's talk about it. Cardi came out and said she was black, and y'all still said she's Mexican. Um... I think Megan Thee Stallion are cool, for real. I won't forget when the baby called Megan Ugly on live. Mm. Megan and Cardi can't beef. They share a fan base and common enemy. This is the difference between Nicki Minaj. Barbie Dangerous. That's how it goes. Meg don't like Cardi. You're definitely right. The only unity they have is beef with one person. That's a great point. The only unity a lot of these girls have is the beef with Nicki Minaj. Um... And so, it is what it is. All right, let's check Twitter one more time. 
Let's check Twitter one more time and see what the T is. Let's see if there's some more T that we missed. And if not, we're going to head over to Station Head. Those are some weak hypocrites. Uh, when you call somebody poor, but you got sat down for fraud. Oh, so they still, so JT is still going. Um, let me see. Oh, before I sit down on you. Okay. Here go. Uh oh. Now I bought. I got in it. I do. I don't want to say what I, the girl JT the big toy story limited edition head and a hoe. She ain't no threat. And then JT at all. Oh God! Akbar to enter the chat. <sighs> what is Akbar saying? Big fish head ass. Because how do you carry a big whole head on that little body? I know it gotta hurt walking around like that. You don't tell me, big, big head. Look at the shark tank. I do what I wanna, and I say what the fuck. Whoever JT. That big toy limited edition head asshole. She ain't no threat. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Rap this yourself was on state names. They scary. I love him, but he's one of a kind. Love you to understand me. I'm tipsy outside. Okay. Okie dokie, Ogbar. Uh, right. <laughs> oh yes yeah it's crazy yeah it's crazy oh <laughs> i wonder if we can get akbar on the phone akbar kwame should I call Akbar and see what the T is? Let me call Akbar. Do I have her number? What's your number? Do I have Akbar number? I'm finna. Should I call Akbar on the air? I don't even think I have her number, Joe. I want to know what her. No, she probably ignorant though. She gonna curse too much. Too ghetto. We can't do that. Um. Cause she gonna mess up my whole life. No, I can't do that. She's too ghetto. Hold on, let me see what Nikki said. What did Nikki say? Girl, you're just gonna be putting Nikki Minaj in this. What did she say? Um. I know it got to hurt. I don't know what that means. Nikki's doing that stuff again. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? What are they saying? Hold on. Oh, because she did the collab with Megan Thee Stallion. Let me see. Glory Megan Thee Stallion is going to want to be as out. I know it got to hurt. But what is the, what is the T? I don't know the T. I can't even read into it. Somebody let me know what that means. Nicki Minaj is saying, I know I got to hurt. I don't know what that means. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't solve, I can't solve this riddle right now. Definitely can't do it. Uh, but the female rap beef is what's going to reignite now. So who do we think? Let's get to the music. 
Well, you know what? Actually, there's a let's let's insert Doja Cat because I tweeted something that she had said on a recent record. Just while we're talking about it, what did she say? You're barking like Cardi Bay. What does that mean? What does barking like Cardi B mean, Doja Cat? Doja Cat is the queen of throwing the rock and hide in her hand. I mean, she's got a record out. Um, she's got actually a deluxe album out. And, you know, I haven't listened to it yet. You know, it takes me a long time to get into Doja Cat. Um, but I've heard some of the snippets, and she sounds like she's trashing Nicki Minaj. And she's throwing shade at rap girls. And then Doja Cat gets online and acts as though she's not talking about anybody. She's not trashing anybody. But, yeah, who are you talking about? Doja Cat, I've been telling you girls and guys that she is the queen of passive-aggressive shade. Doja Cat plays white woman games all day long. And you would have to slap her to let her know not to play with you. Um, Doja Cat is really weird. So who do we think will win in a battle? I would like to know. Doja Cat or Nicki Minaj? I want to see if you got Doja or Nicki. I feel like that would be an interesting one. I would be interested to see what Nicki would say about her. But I think Doja Cat would get a lot of life. I think publicly, the general public, because it's Doja versus Nikki. I think the public would say that Nikki, that Doja Cat's verse is harder than Nikki. Um, Nikki Minaj or Magna Stallion. I personally feel as though Nikki, but it could, but Megan goes. I think I. Here's the thing. I think Nikki got one, but I think that Megan has a severe whack for Nikki. And she just haven't released it yet. But I do believe that Megan Thee Stallion is going to put Nikki on her butt. She's going to do it at least one time. Because she's already made a wreck. She's going to whack Nikki one more time. And the reason why Megan Thee Stallion's wax hit differently. Because she's actually like a black girl. Like a black American. All American black girl. She's brown caramel skin. She's sexy. She's got body. And she's a rapper. It's going to hit different. Um, Cardi B or Megan Thee Stallion? Cardi B can't out-rap Megan Thee Stallion, but, but she can out-sell Megan Thee Stallion. Um, Cardi B or Bia? I'll go Cardi B over Bia. I think Bia is great, but Bia is a snooze fest. And Bia can't dress. Like Bia, though. But Bia, Bia is also messy. And Bia also acts as if she doesn't do anything. But she was clearly throwing shade at Cardi B because she felt like Cardi B stole her sauce not only for one song, but two songs. Did we forget that that beef was brewing? Um, Ice Spice or Cardi B? I think Cardi B raps better than Ice Spice. And she performs better. But Ice Spice makes, to me, makes a little bit more catchier songs. Ice Spice or Sexy Red. If you would have got me almost a year ago, I would have said Ice Spice. Now I'm going Sexy Red. Uh, JT or Glorilla. I think it's two different styles. But I think I like JT a little bit more. But I like JT. I like Glorilla too, though. It just depends on what mood I'm in, but I think I can go for a JT solo over a Glorilla. But I do go to a Glorilla mood too. But I feel like if I'm in a Glorilla mood, I would just, you know, if I'm going to go that Glorilla mood, I'm going to turn on Sexy Red and just all the way have it. You know what I mean? I feel like Glorilla is a hybrid of like Sexy Red and like a JT. Like she can be both. She's like that middle, like she's not quite JT sexy sassy. But she's not quite ratchet, sexy, red. So I just feel like she finds herself in the middle. But, you know, if you really want to go there, you'll just pick the full package of either one. You know what I'm saying? 
I'll just either go super soft, soft and feminine and sexy, or I'm going to go down, gut, butter, freaking ghetto, ratchet, pregnant, smoking cigarettes, drinking Bud Light, booty do, fupa hanging, short shorts, red hair, ghetto, Matt, I'm going all the way there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to. There's no need for gray area. Does that make sense? <sighs> I hope I'm making sense. Um, now. Now. Who else? Cardi B or JT. That one's a tough one. Because I first used to think that Cardi B rap better than JT, but now I can't say that. Because JT's in our pocket. I don't, I like them both. Um. So yeah, child. This is what this was the tea today. So we might be back if it keeps brewing up. Um, we're going to head over to Station Head and get into some things. Oh, Lotto versus Ice Spice. Lotto raps better than Ice Spice, but Ice Spice makes better songs. Lotto versus Nicki Minaj, obviously. Lotto, Lotto versus Cardi B. Lotto raps better than Cardi B. I like Lotto's confidence. Lotto versus Magnus Stallion, I think, ooh, they both can really, really rap. And they both can really, really perform. That could be interesting, but I think Megan Thee Stallion is just more sexy. Um, feature Cardi or solo Cardi? I'm going feature Cardi B. Um, Jughead or JT? I'm going JT. Jughead or Cardi B? Cardi B. Although that 50-50 from Jughead is everything. I like that 50-50 that Jughead put out. No shade. Um, Doja Cat versus Cardi B. I'll go to Cardi B over Doja Cat. I'll go anywhere. Sweetie versus Cardi B. Cardi B. Sweetie versus Jughead versus Sweetie. I'm going Jughead. Sweetie versus anybody. I'm going anybody. Um, who else? I'm not really sure who's left. Jughead is Creasy Young Miami. All right, y'all. Let's head over. Let me set. The, let me set up the um. Station here for us so we can get into that. Um, just so we can really get into some things. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Lola Brooke, is she still a thing? Lola Brooke or Flo Millie? Lola Brooke. No, Flo Millie. I forgot about her. Shit. Gosh, she was rapping. You know, she reminds me of Mighty Mouse. I like her, though. Uh-huh. Hold on. All right, you all. Let's get into it. We're going to take some calls on station here. I need you all in the building. Oh, I met Coyle Ray, too. She's so pretty and sweet. Met Corley Wright too. I met her at Everyday People, actually. Guess what? I've never met Nicki Minaj face to face. That's the only one, like, out of the main girl and Doja Cat. But I've seen Lotto, Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, um, Ice Spice, Glorilla, JT, Jughead, Bia. I think that's it right now. Coyle Ray, like up close and talk to them. Well, actually, I was, Magna Stallion kind of jumped down and she was like right in my face. And then Lotta was yelling at somebody else, but. Uh. 
You should get what I'm saying. Oh, Erica Banks, too, but, you know. I, is she doing, still doing me? I feel like Erica Banks has turned into an OnlyFans girl. Uh, all right, head over to Club uh, uh, Station Head. The link is here. You don't have to even have the app. Um, you can just listen through your phone, too. Um, and um, we're going to get into some things. So head over there right now. Click the link right now. Um, I'm thinking about making the female. It depends on how I'm feeling. Because if they don't monetize these, if I keep getting these demonetized, I will be having to do the female rap content behind the paywall on Patreon. Or you guys going to have to deposit your check. Okay, so be on the lookout for that because that may become a thing in the near future if I have to get my coinage. Um, but we'll see. They said, are you loving your Botox? Actually, I am because the wrinkles are gone. Like, you see, I, I, I'm excited. It feels weird. You can't see it. My face is stuck. Oh, my God. Now I just got to go get the lines out, but. Anyway, uh, all right. I'm going to see you guys over one station here.